So we're back from the VC Guide and this time we're looking at Okie Dogie. This is a Pokemon that I'm surprised we haven't seen more of. This seems very, very usable. The typing is pretty cool. The stats are good, like the bulk is good and the offense is good and the speed is perfectly fine. And the ability is great. Being immune to Intimidate while getting that plus one, it's kind of like Defiant. Like it's, it's a mini Defiant, it's good enough. Gonna be able to dissuade all those Intimidates that's gonna be running around and especially the Intimidate from Incineroars that are now gonna be picking up a little bit. And this just blows them back with a Drain Punch at plus one. No need for even a close combat to get that damage. So Okie Doge should be more viable now in Regulation F with Incineroar being reintroduced. With the Assault Vest, you're going to have some very respectable bulk. His defense is good. Its special defense was, was fine. But then that's patched up completely by the Assault Vest. So one of the nice things about Okie Doge as well, it's a fighting type that is not weak to fairy. So that's quite an asset to have. Uh, being neutral, like uh, on the same side, it's poison that's neutral against fairy, which is not ideal for poison, but at least the fighting type, that's going to be very nice for it. Uh, the offenses, it's going to be doing some very good damage with either close combat or drain punch. You've got space for both. Close combat is the strongest thing you can go for. Drain punch gives you that recovery. We've seen that a couple of times. Like there was an assault with sign hands back in regulation B that won a regional that had both close combat and drain punch, and they are both very good moves to try and fit on. You generally only have space for one though. But the coverage that you need is only high horsepower. And then you've got good enough coverage with just your poison and your fighting moves. I would recommend Poison Jab. It's not as strong as Gunk Shot, which is one of the recommended moves. So if you are a madman, go with Gunk Shot. It will be significantly stronger than Poison Jab, but Poison Jab is way more consistent. So if it were me, and I, I hate the inaccurate moves at this point, I would absolutely run Poison Jab. But Ghost Gunk Shot is very, very viable and maybe objectively better. But I could not deal with it. Maybe you can. Knockoff would be the alternative over high horsepower, I would say. Uh, you obviously want your poison and your fighting type attacks, so knockoff over high horsepower. It's mainly for Golden Go, because Golden Go is immune to both fighting and poison, so you need some sort of coverage for it. And that's either knockoff or high horsepower. Basically, whichever one you think your team needs uh, a, little, a little bit more. Should have already said, but this is not a recommended moveset. These are just other moves to fit on the assault vest set. Upper hand is a pretty cool move. Uh, it does say illegal here, but it is actually available on Okie Doge Handler and the TM, so just ignore that. Um, so yeah, upper hand's going to be able to out-prioritize some certain things. So if you're in against an Incineroar that is able to go for fake out that turn that's just got, got your guard dog activated, suddenly upper hand is forcing them not to fake out or take huge damage uh, and not even go for that fake out in the first place. So it is quite a nice nice niche move to have on Okie Doge. Uh, Snarl is going to be able to patch up your special defenses. Just spamming Snarl against all the special attackers is always going to be pretty good. But then you have to sacrifice some sort of coverage. However, the fact that the coverage is generally for things like Golden Go, Snarl is good against Golden Go. So that would be perfectly fine to fit onto there. You can obviously drop one of Close Combat or Drain Punch to give yourself extra coverage on top of that. But I would ha like you have room for both Close Combat and Drain Punch. I would have them both. Alternatively, and this is the Okie Doge that we've tended to see uh, if it has had that niche usage so far, has been the Bulk Up set. Because with Bulk Up and then Drain Punch, you get all that recovery and you could be unkillable. Like you can get into certain situations where you absolutely just win because you've bulked up with Okie Doge. Because they can't intimidate you. They can't stop you from boosting your attacks if with Intimidate. Uh, so you'll be able to just keep, keep doing the, the damage you need to do and get huge damage with Drain Punch. That means more recovery. That means more longevity and it's all good. Uh, I would potentially consider Toxic Chain on the bulk up one, but the fact that you want to be doing damage with your attacks, Guard Dog keeps you safe from that from Intimidate. But Toxic Chain is definitely worth considering because that would uh, be able to outstall the opponent with potentially your unkillableness from your bulk ups and also your leftovers. Definitely have leftovers instead of Black Sludge. Obviously Black Sludge is good on poison types, but you will reasonably want to Terra with Okie Dogie. Uh, so Black Sludge would work anti-synergistically with uh, Black Sludge, uh, with te the Terra going for the Terra, that's the sentence I was going for, uh, and I managed to nail anti-synergistic in one, but there we go. Leftovers is the better way to round to do it. So definitely go with Leftovers. If you don't have a Poison Terra, and you shouldn't have a Poison Terra, you should have a different type uh, so that you can benefit from the defensiveness of that. Of that. There's not really a, like, a standout great Terra type for Okie Doge with Poison and Fighting. Like Water is just a generally good one. Like, ground offensively is probably a good idea to just get extra damage on high horsepower. I'd say Fairy is pretty good as well, but basically just pick a favorite with Terra. I don't think there's, like, an objectively better one for Okie Dogie. But I think that this is very viable, and it's surely, surely got more viable now that Incineroar is in the format, right?